Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, in this question we are going to solve a CAT 2018 problem and uh, so let's see what the problem is. So it says that a trader sells 10 liters of mixture of A and B uh, where the amount uh, of B does not exceed A uh, so it has cost in it uh, and it has uh, the entire mixture sells for 264 so this looks, looks like a word problem which has cost and which has profit so what I, what I actually recommend in these kind of problems is that you form a table right and this table will be actually very specific to the question so it will be very very specific to the question so let's see what the question says the question says so we'll just start with the question we'll start in pieces and we'll just try to put everything uh, in our scratch paper here it says a trader sells 10 liters of mixture a and b so you have mixture a and you have mixture b there is some amount of mixture a some amount of mixture b so that means the total that it have is the, the total uh, it has is 10 liters so let's just say 10 liters right now it says the cost so this is the amount basically there is some amount here and some amount here it says where the amount of B in the mixture does not exceed the amount of A so that means the amount of A is actually greater than amount of B that means this is greater than 5 this is less than 5 Right? And it says it does not exceed, so that means they both can be equal to 5 as well. Right? So that means it can be equal as well. So that is the expression here. Now understand, even if it's a cat question, you don't worry about it. You just keep on solving the question in bits and pieces. And if your scratch paper is organized, you will get the answer. Right? So it's all about organization because you're not applying in through CAT, you're not applying for an engineering degree, you're applying for a management degree. So what, what are they looking for? They're looking for managers and managers are not mathematical wizards. Managers are people who are organizers, people who are leaders. So you have to be organized in your question set and you will get the answer. Let's see the next one. It says the cost of paint A is 8 rupees more than cost of that of B. So you have the word cost here. So the cost of A is 8 more than cost of B. So that means if this is X, this is X plus 8. Simple as that. If the trader sells the entire mixture for 264, that means the selling price is 264. Uh, understand you will get here you will get the cost price because we are talking about the cost here right we're not talking about the selling price and makes a profit of 10 percent now if you watch my profit and loss videos you will know that cost price into profit or loss percentage actually gives you the selling price so using this uh, information here what I can say is I can say that the cost price is actually equal to 264 divided by 1.1 right something that we've done in the videos if you don't know that then uh, the expression here is if the profit is 10 percent then the selling price is 110 percent of the cost price right so that is how this expression leads to this so that means the cost price is 240 so the total cost price is 240 now this is what we have now the question says that then the highest possible cost for paint B. So we want the highest possible cost here. If we want the highest possible total cost, then that means we would need to pick a highest possible number for B here. And what's the highest possible number for B here? It's five. If this is five, this is automatically five. So if the amount is five and the cost per, li per liter is X, that means this is five X. And what is this? This is 5 into x plus 8. Right? And this plus this is of course this because that's the total cost. So that means 5 into x plus 8 plus 5x is equal to 240. Uh, if you solve this, this is 10x plus 40 is equal to 240. That means 10x is equal to 200. That means x is equal to 20. And that's what the question asked you uh, and that is your answer right so just to kind of see what takeaway we have this from this problem is the takeaway is you have to stay organized 
keep yourself in a in tabular format as much as you can uh, write the external information away from your tabular format so you have it here remember the basics we are not gonna we, this is not convoluted at all this is very very easy and then you get your answer right so uh, yeah so thank you very much for watching this video guys uh, and uh, yeah thank you very much